show. Your show, my show, our show, everyone's show. It's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about us, it's all about everyone. Today's episode promises to be exciting, inspiring. Tag along. I'm Favor Napoleon, and this is the People's Show. Our guest today has a spectacular story. But before we meet her, let's take a look at her profile. Hi, Hidden. Good to have you on my show. You're welcome to People's Show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. The People's Show is all about people. So yeah. that's why you are here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after back had the, after we had the makeup sessions <laughs> and I had to do some selfie, I saw myself, I said, wow, I'm looking wild. Though I don't know what uh, the definition of the viewers, but I think I really look really good. Yeah, you do look and good. you look beautiful too. Thank you. So how are the coming about the profession, being a makeup artist? How did the dream all start? How did it start? Oh, because I started modeling for makeup artists and fashion designers and stuff. So I just had, I just developed the interest. Like I wanted to know more about makeup. I wanted to know how to draw brows and make people look beautiful and stuff. So working as a model, seeing that every day just made it grow in me, just made that passion grow in me. So I met fashion art and then the pushed me out there like you need to learn something, you need to do something and then met Vugo, Gmail Touch, they both taught me how to draw brows and all those things, makeup and stuff like that. So you're good at making people look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's wow, that's good to hear. So how, how how long did it take you to become as in in your profession? Now I can call you a professional because of what I've seen you do. So how long did it take you to to become um, good in what you're doing now? Was it a year, two years, five years? How long did it take you to? Uh, it took me a year to learn okay. and then to perfect it, like, say, together, two years. Two years, that's wow. So you're making people look beautiful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the day, what kind of message do, they, do you get? After you make people up. You have uh, people be like, you're young, you're this, you're that, you're beautiful. I'll be like, oh, thank you. I love my makeup. And I'm like, I'm glad you do love Have you ever had you any, any, any person you made up and said, wow, I look horrible, I don't like That it. was when I was starting. Because mm -hmm. then it was hard to draw the brows and all those things to make it look same. So I'll be like, this is not same with this one. I had to just start learning from like beginning like you don't have much to get it yes i have to learn it well your dreams and your the reality now how did it all come about your story yeah my story goes like this like i was born into a family of two my as my elder sister and me so my mom died when I was two years old, and then I was still there with, with like moving from foster home to another, another home to another, like different places. And then my dad was still around. Then he was still sending money and stuff. Where was, was he? He sending money from? He was tra traveling. Okay. He didn't really stay with us. So okay. he would before your mom died, where was she? Country. Yeah, she was here in Abuja with okay. us, and then she had just like, breast cancer, mm -hmm. then she died. So, my dad was still around, though he was traveling. From to where, that was why we're moving from one place it's to so another. Yes, yeah, so I was looking for like a place to call home. Okay. Yeah. I was 12 years old, I was in secondary school, just two, I can remember. Then my dad, that's when I lost contact with him, like, at that age. Mm -hmm. So he stopped coming, we we'll call, and then once in a while he would pick and be like, hey, how are you doing, the other stuff, he was still, we're still talking to him on phone, and all of a sudden, 
He stopped calling. Who of the headers between you, sister, your sister? Yeah. Okay. So he stopped calling. We didn't know where he was, if he was dead or alive. He left. Now, who were you with so at that time? We were still moving from one place to another. Were you not with any family relations or no, family members? No, we didn't okay. go up with our family members. We we're just moving from foster home to another. So then, I I was 16 when I was like, uh, my late sister Gabriella, I was like, we need to move on and take care of ourselves. We understand that those people that we stay with are not going to treat us like our, their own children. So it's better we stand up and take care of ourselves. So then my sister was planning to go into the university. So I, I started taking my now jobs. I said, my now. I started taking jobs, like working in restaurants, provision stores, stuff like that, so I and my sister could survive. So my sister eventually got admission to Bernie State University to study microbiology. And then money for school fees and stuff came up. We started looking for asking people to help and stuff. So then she was able to go to school. She went to school. Then her second year, she came back to Abuja, I can remember, to see me. That was like November 25th. And then on her way back, she had an accident and died. Oh my God. Yeah. That's so, 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 so terrible. That's sad, yes. And she was about to go into her second year in the university. So. All those things just really gave me... Uh, why, why, really why, why she was at school? Where were you? I was working in Abuja. I was okay. working in the studio with fashion art. Okay. So that was where I learned the makeup stuff and the modeling okay. and all. So I was there when What I year was she this? Died. What was year? Last year, November. Okay. She died when? Last year, November 20th. Your sister died last year? Yes, okay. November. So after her death, and it was hard to go on because I was just trying to live for her and mm -hmm. then see the person you're trying to, to live, so for, live so for is now yes. dead. So mm -hmm. things were hard and then I tried committing suicide and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I was like, What's the, why should I live when there's nobody left again? So what happened was that I just I just had to pick myself up. I was like, life goes on. My sister will, will not be happy if she looks down mm -hmm. and see. If you crying. find out that you're crying yes. and you fade in life. Yes, I I have to stand, get up on, on my feet and move on. Like make her proud, make yeah. my mom proud, make. So that people around me that are watching me you know that anything is possible, life, yes. yeah. You, just because you're in a bad situation or you don't have parents doesn't mean you, you're you useless or you just have to go and live a bad life or die. There's still more. You can still achieve much more, like without even people around you, without your parents. So that's what I'm trying to make people understand that you don't have to let your background weigh you down. You just have to get up on your feet that's and know that as long as I am alive, mm -hmm. life goes on. As in, <laughs> as long as I'm alive, I'm going to make people that thought I wasn't going to be nothing. As in, they will look at me and they'll be like, God, is this the same girl I saw years back? Like, that's just what gives me that drive to work and to achieve plenty things so that's why i'm here you know, although i'm very young <laughs> <laughs> you like us to know your age yeah. uh, it will go a long way um your 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 mom died at the age of two, two when you were two years old mm -hmm. then your father you you lost contact with your dad at what age four. at 12. Yes. Oh, and your sister died at what, what, what age were you? I was 18. 18 when she died. Yes, I'm 19, 19 now. now. Wow. And you started fighting for yourself as from 12 years old. That's wow. what a story.
for the story. Let us hold you there for a moment. We'll be right back. Fashion hats. How did you come in contact with them? Okay, yes, just through Facebook. So I got a message from them. They were like, do you model? I was like, I've been seeing models on TV, runway stuff, but I've never even dreamt of doing anything like that before. They were like, come to the studio, we'll do something together. And I, I was like, uh, although I hesitated for like, few days I didn't want to go and then I just they just saw your day. pictures on yes, Facebook or saw my pictures and they were like oh you look like a model do you model I was like no I don't so I waited for like two three days then I was like let, let me just go and see what this is all about and then I went there that same day I then that's the next day I took pictures and that was how I was like, wow, I look beautiful in these pictures. So I can actually be a model, I can be a career out of this. And that was how I started. Wow. Yeah. Career. Yeah, my music. I actually started singing when I was very small because my dad plays the guitar and wow. stuff and he sings very well. So he takes me to karaoke and stuff when he was around. Yeah. We'll go together, he would sing, play the guitar, we sing together. So he was teaching me all this. So he was fond of you. Yes, we were very close, close. then. So he was teaching me do re mi, fa so mm -hmm. all other stuff oh. like that. So when he left, I almost gave up on music. I was like, the person that was pushing me. Was your sister me. singing too before she died? Yeah, my sister was singing. I said she was a very good soprano singer. <laughs> so, uh, and then I would just give up on music when things were not working again. And, and then fashion acts also still decided to push me that aspect. So with them, I did like my first single my second wow. single has yet to be out to yet to be out to the public but I heard your I, voice, amazing voice. Thank you, thank you. So you guys should watch out <laughs> for my singles. <laughs> They'll be out soon. Wow, wow. Are you into rock? What will you call your kind of music? Oh. New no, so oh. Afro so okay. yeah, I can I, I do different kind of music but that's just my aspect. Okay. For now yeah, maybe, no. maybe, maybe eventually you can um, rap. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Anything can happen, Anything though. Can happen. Yes, I can rap, but that's not just my side, ah, like okay. my. <laughs> What, what kind of people do you reach out to with your songs? <sighs> Children, adult, love. What's I your message generally? That have been through a lot, like that grew up in like my kind of the way I grew up and stuff like that. I also reach out to people that think all oh, hope is lost, and I'm like, look at me, there's still hope. I'm alive. I'm healthy. I'm I'm okay. So you life can goes hope. on. Yes. It's a reach out to people in that kind of situations. People just trying to tell them that just because you 
you feel frustrated or you, that that's not just the end of life. Mm -hmm. There's still more. There's still more yeah, things. Yeah, more, more things in life. The world is bigger. Yes, as in it's real big. Yeah. <laughs> the opportunities everywhere. Yeah. You just need to stay open and watch out. That's all. So what's your social life like? What do you like doing when there's no one there? What? Mm, I sing. <laughs> so I, I love singing. <laughs> Make up. I just speak. Maybe. So you can just stay in the house and hold your mirror and start. Yes. Oh, bless. Let me make you up. <laughs> and then sing. Yes. Sing. I listen to music. I am always with my earpiece. Like oh. anywhere I go, they, they, they just refer to me as that girl that's always with her earpiece. Wow. So that's what I love doing. Especially when I'm alone. I just put my earpiece. Be in my own so world. Happy. Yes. Hope you listen to your own songs. I listen to my songs, but I get inspired by listening to other people's songs. Musically, who inspired you? What? Who inspired you? Who will you say, oh, I want to be like this person? I actually Musical want to, I don't want to be like, I want to be like myself. I want okay. to be the good, as in, the best version yeah. of myself. Okay, let's use the one who inspires you on the music line. I got you now. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> like, I, I do like Johnny Aiko. Okay. And then I like Nicki Minaj. Oh. I do like Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Cause she has gone through a lot, and she's still fighting to get that first place in the music industry. So I'm like, that's that's the kind of thing I want. Like okay. that's what I want. We can't come to people's show and we don't have a taste of your music <laughs> or any music. Let's just. Let's just hear the tone of your voice. If you want to sing your music or whatever music that you know it will make my viewers know there's a better place. I saw that coming actually. I'm you now. So <laughs> I'll just sing something. Um it's a gospel song. Okay. All I have to give Mali. For those of you that know this song, just listen. Maybe I should give you a beat. I wish I know this song. That's it. <coughs> Why don't so let's get it. Lord, if I could buy you a gift to show you my love, tell you how I feel, it wouldn't matter what I had to give. I will find a way to get it for you. But fortunately, that's not the case. And we both know I don't have bank any weight. But I won't let it affect my presentation to you Cause this is all I bring Here is my heart, my mind Lord, here is my life, my everything Take it, it's yours, so Lord it's all I have, oh, here is my heart, my mind. Lord, here is my life, my everything. Take it, it's yours, so oh Lord. It's all I have to give. Wow, my everything is all I have to give. Take it, yeah. Lord. <laughs> I'm also giving you my people's show. Take it, Lord. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. Thank you. That was beautiful. There's <laughs> yeah, something we normally do on people's show. Okay. Even me, I'm all also on the spot, not just you. I don't really know the plans of my producer or my director. They just, oh, wow. so, they give me the numbers and they tell me you, you have to pick from one to whatever number they give me. And then whatever is told to do there, you do. So okay. maybe today's show, they're going to tell you to slap me oh or God. beat me up. I don't know. Please, if it's beating, just no, tell me so that no, I'll run no. out of the... <laughs> so right now, well, you're going to pick from number one, two, four. Okay. So let me check it out. So what number are you picking? Mm, you're lucky number. I think I'll go with three. Three. Okay. Um, when you're on the streets and you see a sign on the signpost with a man holding a shovel, 
What does that mean? What does that sign mean? Men at work. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. So simple. I wonder why it was simple today. Good to have you on People's Show. Thank you. Thanks for Thank coming. You. Thank you for having me. You remember I told you at the beginning that this show promises to be exciting and inspiring. Hope you agree with me now. My name is Favor Napoleon. This is People's Show. See you next time. Ciao. Bye. Mm -hmm.